Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video, I will uh, show you how you can unassign G Suite licenses uh, from your users in bulk. I mean, one option is obviously if you're using uh, Google Cloud Directory Sync and managing licenses via it, then you're fine. But in case if you're a small business, I'll show you a way to do that. We will be doing it with the uh, Google Directory API. So if you go to admin directory API, you will see that it has uh, enterprise license manager API. When you click on that, you will see the reference that with that, you can do a bunch of things like you can insert license, get licenses, and also delete license or patch it. Uh, in my use case, I have a few G Suite users who are in suspended state and I want to delete licenses, uh, G Suite licenses from these suspended users. So I'll go with the delete and then I'll run my script. Now, couple of uh, precautions here. Number one is uh, please be careful when you're running uh, this script because it, if it runs, it's, it will unassign the license from your G Suite user. And then the second is that you would need a couple of pieces of information from Enterprise License Manager APIs which can be googled easily and in my script I will also insert the link so you can go to that link uh, essentially when you uh, run the script you will need to provide which uh, product ID and uh, SKU ID you want to remove because each G Suite license comes with a product name and the SKU ID. So for example, in my case, I have my users assigned with uh, G Suite product ID, which is Google Apps, and then SKU ID might be different in your case. I have G Suite enterprise licenses for my user and the SKU ID for that is this one. In your case, it might be different. For example, if you have G Suite Basic, then this will be your SKU ID. If you have business, then it's gonna be Google Apps Unlimited, etc. So watch, uh, go to this link, get the information, and then you will need to replace this information here, which means in product ID, you will put the product ID, which is Google Apps, for example, in my case, and SKU ID based on which license is being assigned currently to your user. Okay, there are two options uh, I was thinking of. One option is to simply, uh, you know, when you are in admin console, if you need to suspend any user, you will just uh, uh, suspend it and better put that into a dedicated suspended users organization unit so that we can, with, with our script, we can call this suspended users OU and then whoever is found in this specific OU, we can unassign G Suite license from that user. Second option is if you want to make it like broad, uh, which means regardless of the organizational unit till the time if users suspended uh, status is true, then suspend that user. So Google uh, Directory API has a property that's called suspended, uh, which means you can check whether the user is suspended or not. And if it's suspended, then you can call uh, the license manager API to delete that specific G Suite license from that suspended user. In my case, I'm going with both in my scenario. For example, just to give you some context uh, of the script that we will be using. First, I'm, I'm fetching all the users in my suspended users or unit path. That's the step one. In your case, you might have some other name for your uh, organizational unit where you're putting all those suspended users. So feel free to change that path. Okay. Second step is optional, but I would recommend it just to be super sure that you're not on assigning licenses from users that might need. So what I'm doing is I'm now checking for suspended uh, users within this organizational unit, suspended uh, uh, users, and then I'm also checking whether their suspension state is true or not. So if by mistake somebody put a user in my suspended users OU, but if that user is not yet suspended, then our script should not unassign license from those users. And then finally, once uh, I find that whoever in this org unit suspended users uh, and is also in suspended users trait, then call the uh, license manager API to remove the product or the license that we have assigned to that specific user. Okay, and then uh, keep running the script till the time we have uh, 
you know processed all the users in this organization unit so now to show you how it's gonna work uh, let me just copy this script and idly you can copy that script from my website and from my blog post I'll put the link under this video so essentially you would be uh, going to for example script.google.com in your case let me just uh, switch it to my admin user who has permission uh, to deal with uh, licensing stuff so here you will uh, create a new script and then you can name your script whatever you want I will just say delete or maybe unassign licenses it might take a couple of seconds to save that project and once that done we will be just pasting the script here deleting the default content that's there so I'll delete this one and I'll paste the script that you can use from my blog post and feel free to tweak it I just heard of this use case so I just quickly scripted it it might not be perfect but it will get the job done and then because we are using a license manager API it has to be enabled from resources advanced Google services so go here and uh, scroll down a bit and enable two different APIs here number one is uh, admin directory because we need to fetch the list of uh, users from our suspended OAU and also check their suspension status and then there is one more which is enterprise apps uh, not the reseller one it's the uh, license API okay so turn these two on and then s click OK and then click on save again it will take uh, a few seconds now it's updated okay now let me go to my uh, suspended users OU in your case it can be any other name and within this OU I have one user in your case you might have hundreds of users so as you see I have suspended this user okay but for now let me uh, let me first uh, reactivate this user to show you how the script will work and then we will scale it so that you can run it on hundreds of users and then if I scroll down a bit I will see that this user has G Suite Enterprise license assigned okay now we will uh, run our unassigned license script to run it you will need to click on this play icon and it's running because this is the first time you're running this script you will need to review the permissions and provide access make sure that you are providing it with your admin account and then you will just read the scopes and then click OK and now it is running now if I go back to my admin console and refresh it I really should not unassign because the user is an active state so let me refresh it oops login again session expired and as you see if I just refresh nothing happens user still has the G Suite Enterprise license but now I'm going to suspend this user suspend it and now I see that it has been suspended but it still has G Suite Enterprise license assigned in your case you might have some other license and by the way one more important thing that I forgot to mention is that you should have cloud identity free uh, which is just an identity license it does not cost you anything uh, so if it is there then as soon as we unassign G Suite Enterprise license or business or whatever you have then cloud identity it, it's, it, it is applied to everyone in your org so it will be applied uh, instead of G Suite Enterprise okay so now when I go to my script again if I run it this time script should go ahead and unassign that license okay so I have this assigned script finish so let me just reload it and ideally we should see that now G Suite has been unassigned and we have cloud identity license assigned or it, it is actually applied to everyone in your org by default okay now it was just for one user what if we have multiple users so uh, this time first let me just uh, assign the G Suite license again so we can use this as a test user and this time I will go and move some of my users let's say one two three four uh, move them to suspended users org 
OK. And uh, when I go to suspended users org now, I see that there are three users. OK, let me change their status to suspend. Why can't I suspend it from here? Suspend. OK, and then one more to be suspended. And by the way, okay, so now just one is to be suspend. Okay, so now we have all these four users in this organizational unit. All of them are suspended. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is instead of running script manually, I will automate it so that it keeps on running every time by itself. So for that, I'll go back to my script again and I'll click on this clock icon, which is a trigger. Uh, and I will click on add a new trigger and our script has one function which is remove license as you see here so I will come back and I'd say select event source so I'll make it time driven how frequently should it run you can make it minutes or day or hour etc ideally I should make at least hour uh, or day timer but just to show you in this demonstration for now I will click on minutes timer of course I do not want you to wait for one hour to see this in action so minutes timer and every minute and let me say notify me immediately in case if my script fails so essentially I'm saying Google run this script every minute and notify me if, in case if something goes wrong and let me save it okay so ideally what should happen is as soon as this script runs again in next one minute we should be you know seeing that license should be unassigned from all of them Okay, so this one says G Suite Enterprise assigned. So I'll do a couple of refreshes. We need to wait for 60 seconds. Okay, as you saw, it just happened by itself. And now if I go to any of those users, ideally everybody should have that cloud identity license assigned and G Suite should be gone. So if, if I see on, for example, Bradley and Carter and Charlene and AD. So Bradley, uh, two license assigned, G Suite is unassigned. Carter, same case, I think. Two license assigned, G Suite not assigned. And same case with this one. And finally, the fourth user that we had, same case, okay? So now, based on what we configured, as soon as you put any user in your suspended users organization unit that user should be susp uh, that user should be unassigned G Suite license within one minute but of course do not make it every one minute you will not be doing that so frequently just put it maybe hourly timer and run it every hour or maybe every couple of hours so hopefully that might help if you have that kind of use case. I'll put the script under this video, use it only as a reference. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, do not hesitate to put it under this video and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much.